Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I've come out today to the area downstream from Elche Reservoir. I haven't been around this area for nearly a year and the particular bit that I'm starting off on I haven't been to for even longer than that. Um, I just thought I'd come up here today and see what the water flow is like. We've had a fairly quiet uh, winter so far in terms of water, not much rain. There's been some snow on the high mountains, but uh, I'm not sure how much of that has started to run down. I am standing underneath the uh, flight path to Alicante Airport, so we're gonna get planes going over occasionally. Hopefully the noise won't come through too much. I thought I'd start off here with a little bit of a play around with some kind of abstracty type shots some sort of moderately long exposures quarter of a second or so of some of the cascades down in this part uh, where the Vinalopo River after it's come across Elche Dam runs through all the rocks um, and it's some quite nice water flow coming through in places so a little bit of a chance to play around with that and then a bit later on when I've finished here I'm going to jump in the car drive around to a different the other side of the river uh, and then walk through the sort of uh, wooded area through to the dam itself and just see what that looks like and although I've photographed it lots of times I still keep thinking there's another image there it may be a better image there than I've already got so we'll see what happens now, I'm going to start off a bit further up here take a walk down to where the river's uh, running through the rocks uh, and then uh, see what else we can find I really thought there was a nice abstract image here with the water kind of flowing in around the, the rocks to come to kind of around, around a rock in the middle and then join up. There's a lot of action going on. And I thought with a long, longish, but not too long exposure, so around about quarter of a second, third of a second, it might look okay. When I was first looking at this scene, I had in mind just a very small area with the water cascading down and there's kind of a hollow in the rocks with all green algae growing over it. Didn't think it was going to work, but I'm going to try it again now. Again, I'm shooting this telephoto to get in, but I'm a lot lower down. It's going to be very abstract. Again, it's a quarter of a second exposure. I would do a shot kind of looking up this cascade here with this uh, these planks of wood that have been set up running across what I'm liking about this is the way the water's coming through and then you've got this uh, green algae and everything on these planks of wood
we love this cascade coming down here. Um, we've got the, the weir type thing coming in, and then it picks the rocks and it brings it across at a diagonal, swirls it around. There's a lot of foam in there. Um, so I'm going to start off here with a wide angle shot. I actually want to include a little bit of the sky in there as well. It's quite nice sort of fluffy clouds in there. Time's getting on, so I'm going to head back to the car, take a quick drive round to the other side of the river, and then we'll walk up and see what the conditions are like up at the dam. Okay, I jumped in the car. It's only two or three minutes drive from where I was parked to where I'm parked now. But if you want to walk it, you've either got a very long walk around or you've got to kind of go across that wooden plank, which I don't think is overly safe, um, and then scramble up a steep rocky hillside. And whilst I might have been tempted to do that on the way out, coming back this evening, I think uh, I would prefer to have a nice easy route back to the car. So that's what I've done. I've got about 10 or 15 minute walk along here now to get to the dam and then we'll see what's happening up there. Okay, we're at the dam. There's a fair bit of water coming over, not as much as I've seen on some occasions, but uh, we have had a, a very dry winter so far. Last year, in March and April, we had lots and lots of rain in a very short space of time over a period of a few weeks. Caused a few problems with flooding, but um, if we get that again this year, then we might find there's some more waterfall stuff to be done as we sort of head in towards early spring. But for the moment, there's enough water here to do something with. The question is, how can I do something different with this to what I've already done? So I think maybe uh, a little bit of considering the scene and having a little walk around is in order to see what the possibilities are. Yeah, I'm definitely struggling to find anything different to shoot here. I mean, when I've been here before, I've shot the entire scene of the dam. Um, I've got in close to one side of it and shot detail. I've used telephoto from here to shoot detail of it. But I'm still struggling to find anything different. Now, what we have got is some quite nice cloud. Now, normally when I would shoot a waterfall or something like that, I'd aim for a quarter to a half a second, maybe a second to keep texture. What I'm actually trying here is I'm doing a long exposure. Um, it's a minute. I've got a 10-stop ND filter on and a one-minute exposure. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of quite nice tonal effect in the sky. We're still a little way before sunset, but we are getting a little bit of uh, that golden hour glow in there.
little bit of a crazy idea. I'm going to put the fisheye lens on. There's a lot of curves around here and the fisheye lens is going to exaggerate all of that. It'll bring in a lot more of the sky and the only thing is I'm not sure how long an exposure I'm going to be able to get because I can't use filters with this. So I can go to f16 and see what it does. Fair warning, this may be rubbish but we'll give it a go. Nothing ventured. Seven and a half mil fisheye. I have to move this tripod because it's in the frame. The best I can get at the minute is 1 25th of a second. Now what I could do is shoot a series of exposures. Uh, 1 25th of a second. If I shoot four or five exposures, maybe six, I could then average them in Photoshop which will give me the same effect as a longer exposure. I can probably get a fifth of a second, quarter of a second. It's the same thing basically that things like Olympus cameras do with their live ND mode, except I'm just going to do the shots and then use Photoshop to bring them together. I'll do about six, or maybe seven, and then I'll see how many I want to use later. what a vertical would look like. The vertical might be interesting, it's getting a bit darker now, so we're down to about a 15th of a second. So I did hang in there for another 20 minutes or so. Took a few more, both vertical and horizontal shots. But as the time went on, the sky, the, the cloud patterns in the sky started to kind of break up. And honestly, I think the best of the tones and the best of the conditions were the ones that you saw. Uh, I was toying with the idea of hanging in there until, you know, maybe 20 minutes or so after sunset. But honestly, I think it was worth it. So I'm heading back to the car and uh, time to wrap the video up. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you know the routine. Likes, shares and comments are really appreciated. If you've enjoyed this video and you're new here and you want to see more of my stuff, don't forget to hit subscribe before you go. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So thank you very much. Until the next video. Bye.